Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to do a review of VPN Unlimited. <coughs> I, I, I had someone on the channel ask me to take a look at this one and do an updated review. I did a review around three years ago. Um, I actually did like the VPN at the time. I thought it was a decent, decent, decent speed and overall decent product. But this time in 2022, the product feels a bit different to me. It feels like it hasn't had, I don't know, it just seems really buggy and I'll discuss that in a bit. Also guys, if you're interested, check out vpntierless.com to find my top rated VPNs. You can find the link in the description down below. There's a VPN quiz on the website as well to help you find the perfect VPN. Additionally, come check out my Discord. It'll be linked in the description down below as well. It's a pretty active community. People talking all the time about VPNs, privacy, or just random shit. It's good time. Check it out. And I also kind of update you guys while I'm doing reviews as well with some of my findings and just opinions overall. And people also just discuss their own opinions too, which is nice. Come check it out. Uh, it's a pretty friendly community and everyone is welcome. First off, we're gonna talk about pricing and pricing honestly isn't bad. It's pretty good VPN if you wanna go long-term. Um, you could get three years for $100, a lifetime. Um, I think when I was looking at this plan yesterday, it said three years for like 50 bucks. I don't know if it's changed between then and now or there's some kind of cookie pricing or something like that. Whatever the case is, is the pricing is pretty cheap, especially long term and one month isn't bad either. They do have a 30 day money back guarantee. The one thing that's kind of odd is the simultaneous device use, which is kind of confusing. They kind of make you pay for more device use in a weird way. And I've had issues with that um, on my um, account. It won't even actually let me connect. <laughs> we'll discuss it a bit in the application section. Now I don't even have the app installed anymore because I already uninstalled it. It wouldn't work at all for me. I couldn't connect or do anything like that. It could be a compatibility issue with other VPNs, but if a app is not working for me, if it's too buggy and doesn't work, I'm not gonna give it the time of day and opportunity to work because the VPNs here on the channel should just work without any bugs. It might work for you. Um, I'm not gonna say it won't. It probably will work for some people, but in my experience, whatever the issue was, it did not work. Um, the application itself isn't too amazing. If we look at it with the point system, it does have wire guard, kill switches, and some of those things, fire stick support, and of course, browser extensions. And it does have some obfuscation options as well um, with their uh, different variety of protocols. I do like the wire guard and stuff like that. It's just kind of a shame I couldn't test it myself. They also have Soxide proxy support and dedicated IPs as an add-on too. The application, however, is an open source, which is kind of a bummer. In terms of the speeds, we gave it around uh, zero out of five. I couldn't really test the speeds. I couldn't get it to connect, which is a bummer. And with the countries supported, they actually have around 80 plus countries supported, which is pretty good, I think. So they do have a pretty capable server network and a decent um, capability there. I just couldn't get it working. If we look at the privacy audit though, we don't really see anything that impressive. We see a couple ad trackers on the website and Google Analytics. It could be worse though, much worse as we've seen with other companies. So at least there's nothing too bad there. We also see with Exodus, they actually have a lot of trackers on um, Exodus. We see Apps Flyer, Facebook Analytics, stuff like that is very concerning in Google stuff. And also pretty high um, uh, permission account, which is also not something we like to see. Um, the good thing though with VPN Unlimited is that they do seem to be originally owned um, and there haven't been any uh, um, really any significant data leaks from what I could find. It seems to be a pretty decent company overall, but the fact is the privacy in the back end doesn't seem to be too good in my opinion. It doesn't have two-factor authentication. Well, not really my opinion. This is just objectional, objective measurable things. Um, no 2FA, like I showed you the trackers, um, the logging policy, it says they don't collect logs, but they do collect a decent amount of data um, to uh, function the VPN or whatever the case, you could check out the privacy policy. They just collect a little bit more. Um, it might not be logs per se, um, but they do collect more than some other VPNs do, which is uh, not good in my opinion. Another thing is, is customer support. It actually responded pretty good to me. Um, it responded within three or four hours, which is actually pretty nice but we do like really fast customer support. We see some providers, TourGuard, some of the other ones um, can reply very quickly to customer support and that's not gonna be that quick here, although it's not bad. Um, in terms of the, uh, the 24 hour response, we gave them points there, five points. 
Lastly, streaming, we didn't give him any points since I couldn't get it working with um, streaming. I do think it could work with streaming if you manage to get it to connect. So um, give it another 10 points for around a 35.59. For me, however, since it's so buggy and I couldn't get it working, I'm going to give it a 25.59. I don't think it's the worst VPN in the world, but it's certainly not doing very well on my tier list. Um, I couldn't get it working barely at all, which is not a good sign. It means application is buggy. It could have some compatibility issues with the newest version of Windows. It also could have compatibility issues with other VPNs. I'm not sure what the issue was. I did give it its fair chance. I tried to reinstall it once. I reset my computer multiple times. I control alt deleted it ended it tried to re-log re in and i'll show some of the couple issues i've had here on the screen um showing issues and i also had issues logging into their website too um it tried to get me to buy more um simultaneous device use i'm not sure why overall 10 bucks i spent on it is completely wasted since i didn't get any use out of it that's just my honest opinion guys for vpn unlimited around a 25.59 if we look at it on the tier list you could see it's one of the worst vpns at least in my tests ranking just above atlas vpn or avast vpn rather um tier four below average um in my opinion if you want to see my top rated vpns check out the god tier or some of tier two as well depending on your specific use case you could check out the vpn quiz which will show you specific vpns geared towards your use case that will fit you best anyways guys thanks for checking out this one and i'll see you again very soon